Hello again, Adrian Finnegan here in Doha with the news hour from Al Jazeera. Our headlines right now, a fugitive mayor and his wife have been arrested in Mexico over the disappearance of 43 students. The pair had been on the run since the students went missing near the town of Iguala in September. Zambia's acting president has reinstated the ruling party's secretary general after violent protests. Hundreds demonstrated against Edgar Lungu's dismissal, which happened just days after the uh, death of the president. And voters across the U.S. are casting their ballots in the midterm elections. Republicans are looking to increase their majority in the House and to take control of the Senate. Well, the outcome of those elections will shape American policy for the next two years, both domestically and foreign policy. Let's take a look at what's uh, at stake in this vote. Control of both branches of Congress up for grabs. Today, all 435 seats in the House of Representatives will be contested, as well as a third of the 100 Senate seats. And it's those 36 seats that we'll be watching the closest today. The Democrats have a 10-seat majority there right now. They got that through 53 seats of their own, plus two independents who joined them. The Republicans have 45. That means the Republican Party needs to win just six more seats than it already has in order to take control of the Senate. Now, remember, Republicans already control the House of Representatives. Jason Johnson is a professor of political science and communication at Hiram College. He joins us now live from Capitol Hill. Jason, great to have you with us uh, once again. Um, is this really yes. a referendum on, uh, basically, Barack Obama's presidency? Well, the Republicans hope that it is, uh, but believe it or not, it really isn't. Usually, there's very, very low turnout during midterm elections, and only about half the people who turn out are really going to be voting against Barack Obama. The rest are usually Democrats. So, whereas it's, it's, it's easy to say that this is a referendum on the president's policies, it really tends to have to do more with local issues and people's concerns about the economy. All right, so the next question is, the Republicans need six more seats to take control uh, of, uh, of the House. Um, are they going to do it? Is it a shoe in? Oh, it's a shoe in. Yeah. <laughs> the only question now is will they stop at six? There are chances that we could know fairly early in the evening if the Republicans do well in southern states like North Carolina or northern states like New Hampshire, they could win as many as eight seats in the Senate and really lock up a almost foolproof majority in the Senate for the next two, three years. You talk about the poor voter turnout. I mean, what's happened uh, as far as the two parties are concerned in, in, in terms of um, uh, voter appetite, if you like? Uh, the, is the Republican Party re energized? Are they going to get people out to the polls? And are the Democrats just going to lose steam purely through apathy? It's a mixture of both. I think when we usually see this in the second term of any two term president, year six, the opposition party is just ready to see them go. So Republicans are much more enthusiastic to vote against Barack Obama, just like Democrats were enthusiastic to vote against Bush in 2006. So there's always more enthusiasm on the out party. As far as the Democrats are concerned, there have been a lot of voter ID laws passed in Republican states to make it harder for Democratic voters to turn out and vote. Okay, all of this, of course, I mean, if it comes out the way we're expecting, with the Republicans taking control of both uh, houses, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make life very difficult for President Obama in his last two years, isn't it? Yes, it's going to be hard. Uh, the Republicans will have no problem putting up bills that the president will have difficulty vetoing. The Republicans will lead to large numbers of investigations of the president's policies. There will be attempts to overturn the Affordable Care Act. Barack Obama will be on defense the last two years of his presidency if he doesn't find some way to negotiate with a very hostile House and Senate. Professor, always great to talk to you. Many thanks indeed. Jason Johnson there uh, at uh, Capitol Thank Hill you, in Washington, D.C. Millions of